Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from DIY E65, E66.com. In today's video, we're going to be connecting our Android device to our BMW E65 E66. Now, I've done this with an iPhone. Check out that video if you haven't seen that already, but I'll be doing this with an Android device because it's just a tiny bit different, pretty much the same thing. Now, first off, I've gotten these questions before, but if your car does not have Bluetooth, which some of them do not, unfortunately, this will not work for you. And another question I've been asked that I'll just address real quickly is that even though you can connect your phone to your Bluetooth system of your BMW E65, E66, and you can talk and you can hear them on your speakers, etc., unfortunately, you cannot stream music from your phone to your car via Bluetooth. It's a security feature. I have no idea why. It might not even be a security feature, but unfortunately, it's not integrated like that. If you try to do anything else besides talk on the phone, it will not work. So Pandora, Slacker Radio, even your iPod music, it will not play over Bluetooth. Anyway, back to the original project on hand. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. And there's no need to put it in the number two position. I just shoved the key in there. It didn't start it or anything like that. And what we're gonna do here is let's go down to settings here. So we're gonna we're gonna take our iDrive control and just come down in this direction here. Alrighty, here we are here. Now using your iDrive as a scroll tool, go ahead and come on over here and we're gonna go on down there to phone right down there at the bottom of the screen. And then we'll go ahead and tap that for phone. Okay, now we see that we have Bluetooth is checked on. If you can see that, guys, it's there's a little green symbol right here that's on. And then what we need to do is we need to pair it. So again, with our iDrive, we're going to come over one, two, and then we're going to push the iDrive in again like that. And then we're going to be pairing now. See that you see a little green symbol right there next to pairing. So let's go ahead and look down at our phone here because it's trying to sync it up there as we can see. But now we need to quickly head on back over to here. On our Android device, let's head over to settings, guys. This is a Sony Z Ultra, so it might be a little different than your guys's. So right here, we're going to have Bluetooth, making sure the Bluetooth is on. And again, we're gonna come down here, and it says search for devices. Let's go ahead and hit that, and hit this here, search for new devices. And then now, this button comes up here, guys. It says available devices. Here we go, okay, right there, BMW 0551. I believe that's the last five of my VIN number there and uh, yours will be different. So yours will get this symbol, but it needs to say BMW. Make sure you don't pair up to some neighbor's Bluetooth device. And so, okay, so now here's the most critical part, guys, is that we're gonna go ahead and hit this, but we need our PIN passcode number. Now I have another video for that. It's located in the trunk. You have to look behind the wall of the, kind of the divider carpet there. Um, I have a full video on that. I'll try to link that in the description box. So if you don't have your PIN passcode ready for your BMW, you're going to need that. So let's go ahead and hit that again. See, type in the device required PIN number, and it's usually four numbers. Now, you could default, but normally every different BMW has a different number. Mine, this is not going to work for you guys, but mine is 8014. Again, it's located in the trunk behind the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and push right here, 8014. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK here. OK. All right, now it's pairing and right here, okay? It's paired up, guys. Paired devices, boom, right there. We're looking really good right there, guys. Again, Android, Sony, Z Ultra. I'll link that in the description box as well. That automatically put in right here that little symbol is off bluetooth still has the green up here but pairing is off now look at that guys uh, xperia z ultra now as you can see here it says triple crown transport that was my iphone when i originally did that video and the reason it says my company's name is because on itunes i named my device triple crown transport i'm going to figure out how to name my android device again that is a cell phone it's a, a 6.4 inch screen cell phone it's just phenomenal, guys. I mean, look at my hand. The thing is huge, 6.4 inch screen. So I have 
my Sony Z Ultra up here. I have my Triple Crown Transport, so I can actually choose the different devices I go by. Now, you definitely can't do both at the same time, but I can choose if I have both phones in the car, whether I want to go Android or iPhone, etc., so it stores more than one cell phone in your system or Bluetooth device, I guess you could say. And so right now up here, it says that we're connected to Xperia Z Ultra because it's connected on the phone here. And right here, it's also asking me, BMW wants to access your contacts and call history. To test it out here, let's go ahead and make a little phone call real quick. All right guys, so I got Jimmy on the phone right here. And as you can see, because I pushed yes, BMW can connect to my phone contact list, his name is right up here on top of my navigation unit, guys. How cool is that? So another added feature to the uh, letting BMW connect to your contact list. Anyway, guys, that's it. Fantastic. We connected our Android device. Again, I just found out through making this video that you can store more than one device in your system. That's really cool, guys. And so again, you have access to your contact list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this has answered your question how to connect your Android Bluetooth device and again look in the description box below for if you're interested in this phone for the pin pass key video and connecting your iPhone video if that interests you as well. You guys have a wonderful night. Take care and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate that.